Hello, Vikrant here. I am an FEM engineer and previously I was working for one year at Volkswagen at the Wolfsburg plant. I was in the R&D department and I was working on the Audi R8 production. The city of Wolfsburg is located in Lower Saxony in Germany with a population of around 120,000. It is famous as the location of Volkswagen headquarters. The Wolfsburg VW or VW plant occupies an area of 6.5 million square meters, making it the world's biggest car plant, employing over 70,000 people. This factory is the world headquarters of the Volkswagen Group, which includes brands such as Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, Seat, Skoda, and naturally Volkswagen. Once you reach Wolfsburg, you try and find the Volkswagen factory. <laughs> you can't avoid the Volkswagen factory. It's everywhere. I was working in the research department and you had to go through many layers of security. You first needed a card just to get into the Volkswagen factory. Then you need a separate card and you need to show it to an actual human being and not just to a computer to get into the research department. Once you get into a department, your card can only lead you into specific buildings. Once you go there in your building, your card can once again open only very specific doors. And once you have opened that and got in, you need to turn on the laptop. And for that, you first need to input your card into the laptop security slot, input your pin and then your computer pin. And after all those layers of security, you can finally start working. Volkswagen has consistently been one of the companies with the highest spending on research and development over the years, spending a total of 13.6 billion euros in 2016 alone. Their research fields include future and mobility, drive concepts and energy sources, driver assistance, research vehicles, materials and manufacturing methods, and virtual technologies. The travel time for me was non-existent. A couple of minutes of work and I was there at the factory. But a lot of the other students, they preferred living in Braunschweig, which is the big city right next to Wolfsburg. And everybody, seniors and students and managers with kids and families, usually prefer to live in Braunschweig. It's just that it's more of a happening city. Another thing about working in this factory is that you are not allowed to bring in your own car. Even if you're a manager, if you're a CEO, you have to use the company cars. And the company provides you cars so every department has a few set of cars reserved for them and you can see the best cars just roaming around randomly you know so if you go out it's always a fiesta of cars and for most interns we use the factory buses and the buses are there very regularly you can catch one go from any part of the whole factory to any other part the factory is approximately 3.5 by 1.5 kilometers in length, making it practically impossible to walk from one part of the plant to another without wasting a considerable amount of time. So the plant functions like a small city, with available local transport in the form of buses, cars and bicycles. Life outside work in Wolfsburg is also fun, at least it was for me. There's this very big lake which in the summer everyone in the city comes there. We also have free concerts at times there, so you can go there, be with tens of thousands of people and enjoy the view, enjoy the music, or in general, just go to the lake, play volleyball, just go lie down in the sun, take a bath in the lake. There's always some canoeing going on or some swimming competition that you can participate in if you are interested in that. And there's also this very, very big uh, swimming pool there with multiple levels, so you know, there's thermal baths, there's spas, there's a gym also there, there's water slides coming down, two tiny ones, so you can still enjoy on that. A couple of other cool things to see in Wolfsburg are the Autostadt and the Feno. The Autostadt is adjacent to the VW factory and features a VW museum, pavilions for the principal auto brands in the VW group and many more attractions. The Feno Science Center is an interactive science museum dedicated to nature and physics, presented through 350 interactive exhibits and experimental stations. The museum is housed in a futuristic building designed by Zaha Hadid Architects. There's not a lot of restaurants, not a lot of bars to choose from in Wolfsburg. Because it's mostly a worker city, 
there's very few places where students actually can go out and enjoy it. So although there is a big university there, also in Wolfsburg, uh, FI Wolfsburg, it's not the most happening place for a student to be in, for sure. So why did I not continue my job in Volkswagen after my internship and my thesis? The diesel scandal. It cost Volkswagen billions of euros and was really, really hard for the management and the workers there. The Volkswagen diesel scandal began in 2015 when the company admitted to cheating emission tests in the US. This resulted in the company posting its first quarterly loss in 15 years of 2.5 billion euros in late October, with additional fines of up to 15 billion euros, stock value and sales declined and many executives fired or charged. Nearly 23,000 people were told that they would be forced into early retirement, you know, especially the age group above 55 years old. And while that was sad, that also meant directly that newcomers, especially the ones without experience for the next couple of years, would not be really welcome there. And hence, though the management was really open about it, and my supervisor came to me and his boss also talked to me and he they t told us that what they can do for us is they can write us brilliant cover letters and hope that it would help us get jobs in other cities or in other factories, in other companies. But right now, unfortunately, there was no option for us to work in the Volkswagen factory. Everything said, I'm glad that I worked there. I went to Volkswagen. I got an opportunity to work with some of the best engineers on the planet in one of the best funded research development institute on the planet. And it was an experience working in the world's biggest factory. Just to be there, to know that so many magical things have come out of this place. So many Bugatti, so many Lamborghini, so many Audi, supercars, normal cars, you know, Beatles, anything from the very high end to anything for the very, very low end. Most of it has been researched in these locations. And I was there and I could go there. I can meet people. I can see the planning that goes around it. So all in all, I'm really glad that I did it.